Hello there Aries, this is Renee and welcome back. Let's go ahead and get your love message for August. Let's see what's going on. Right away we get the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like there's a lot of things that you've been working on, Aries. I feel like you're really taking time to work on yourself. I feel like there's a lot of things going on in your life. And I'm sensing tower after tower. In my readings all this week, I've been getting the judgment card. So I feel like there's so much going on, especially for Aries. Let's get another card. The Empress. Aries. I feel like you you are at your strongest at the moment, Aries. And with this Empress and energy, I feel like you're very vibrant. You're very attractive. You're attracting so many people into your life at the moment. You may be getting a lot of attention. Um, I don't see a lot of offers coming your way right now. But I feel like it's because, wow, the magician. I, I feel like it's because people are intimidated by you. People are intimidated by your energy. People see you as carrying yourself on such a high standard, right? And I feel like with this magician card, there's there's definitely someone in your energy who is trying to manifest you into their energy. There's someone who really is looking forward to you making the first move. Because um, like I said, you're very intimidating. Not just your beauty, but the attraction about you is so alluring and... <laughs> you scare the hell out of people. <laughs> Let's just face it, Aries. You you come with an energy about yourself that just is fiery and full of life, full of invigorating aura that surrounds you, right? Let's get another card. The Four of Wands. If this is going to be a very happy month for you, Aries, I feel like you're going to be very pleasantly surprised. I feel like a lot of things are coming into fruition for you. And this could be in the areas of career, family, love. But I, I feel like this month is going to be a very fruitful month for you. Things are coming into fruition for Aries. We have the Eight of Wands. You're definitely going to get some kind of messages, some kind of phone call. Something that you may have been waiting on is finally coming in. But there's something that's also happening very fast. Something is moving forward where it used to be in Pinnacle's energy. Pinnacle's energy is very slow. Slow moving, steady, stable, you know, and I feel like something's moving out of that pinnacles energy and moving into this eight of wands energy, which is very fast. We have the king of swords. There's someone who has been holding back emotions from you, who has been trying to control how they feel about you, but I feel like this person can't hold back any longer. I feel like they're finally breaking free of the intimidation and they're moving forward. We have the temperance card. Yet, yeah, I feel like you've been very patient with this person. You know this person in your energy, don't you? This person has been going through a hard time at the moment. I feel like they've been going, they've been trying to heal something in their life. Maybe their financial situation, maybe past relationships. But I feel like they've been trying to heal something. And you've been very patient with this person because I feel like the attraction is mutual. I feel like this person is finally coming to 
and understanding. Yes, we have the the Three of Cups. So definitely someone coming into your energy. There's going to be more communication, more celebration. I feel like you're going to be very social this month as well. So there's definitely going to be something to celebrate. We have the Knight of Swords. Someone really wants to step forward to you and tell you exactly what's going on in their life. I feel like this is them telling their truth, but this is their truth. I'm not quite sure if it's going to be yours. Very interesting. Tell me more. Tell me more. We have the Knight of Swords again. And... Wow. And the justice in reverse. This is something that you're not expecting. This is something that you're not expecting, Aries. And I feel like this is something that you definitely didn't receive closure for. This is maybe a past relationship that's coming forward to try to give you a better understanding. But with this justice in reverse, I don't feel like it's something that you're going to be accepting anytime soon. You know, I feel like this is someone who left a lot of things undone. They left a lot of questions in your mind and didn't really give you the closure that you needed in a certain situation. This could be a past love, a co-worker, or even a family member. Somebody didn't give you the closure that you needed. They are coming forward to let you know exactly what that was and in hopes that now you can either move forward with this person or you can have the closure that you need. I feel like this person doesn't have any expectations when it comes to you forgiving them or accepting what they have to say. Very, inter <laughs> Very interesting. We've got the death card. Definitely something ending with a new beginning. This may be something that you thought was completely over, but now has the chance to begin in a different way, fully transformed. I feel like this could be someone who showed you maybe a side of themselves that you were expecting and then switched up. We've got the death card again with the hermit. <laughs> and the Nine of Swords. Wow. This person has been doing a lot of soul searching. I feel like this is someone who has been taking a lot of time out for themselves. Conquering their fears. Fears. Working on, working on their past mistakes. That's what I'm getting. Working on making things right. Feeling totally enlightened about certain situations and wanting to totally transform some kind of communication with you. With all of these swords, there's so much that this person wants to say, but they've been holding back, saying these things, keeping them to themselves, not wanting to feel vulnerable in a situation. And I feel like this person has gone through a very hard time with this death card and this hermit. They've been spending a lot of time alone. They've been spending a lot of time in contemplation. Give me another message. The Six of Swords. Aries, I feel like you're going to move forward. Whether it's moving forward with this person or without this person, you're, you're moving forward in the situation. I feel like this isn't something that you have let hold you back. 
this is something that you're slowly getting over and now it's like coming back yeah we have the knight of cups this person wants to give you an offer of love they want to share their cup with you they're going to give you some kind of offer maybe to take you out for coffee or on a date or to renew your relationship but this is someone who's definitely coming in and i feel like this is someone that you didn't expect to come back we've got the world card and the two of pentacles in reverse this is definitely someone that you didn't think was gonna double back around this is someone that you thought could not make a solid decision and could not make the changes this is someone who couldn't commit this is someone who couldn't make a solid decision about your connection but i feel like with this with this world card they're they're making a change they're making a come around <laughs> they're doing that 360 right making full circle <laughs> but are you going to accept the marys <clears throat> has have you gotten to the point where enough is enough because I feel like you've been moving on. Yeah, you've been definitely working on yourself. Eight of Pentacles energy coming back out. You're definitely working on yourself. You're working on your stability, your finances. You're, you're, focused, you're focused on you. One last message. Hmm. The Knight of Swords again. Aries, I feel like in this situation... This person wants you to listen. This person wants you to hear them out. This person wants you to accept their offer. But I feel like you have to listen to what this person has to say. But then you need to... Return with communication of your truth. Tell them your truth. Don't be afraid to hold back how you feel about the situation how the situation made you feel um what you expect right yeah we have the knight of pentacles spirit is letting you know that once you get into this situation if you do decide to take this person back if you do decide to give this person a chance take things slow see how things work out don't jump in expecting everything to happen all at once I feel like this person is going through a lot of changes they're still working on themselves so this person is definitely not gonna be perfect and none of us are none of us are perfect we have the hangman yeah Spirit is letting you know to look at this from different angles. Take a look at this from different perspectives. Step into someone else's shoes and look through the lens of someone else's look through the lens of someone else's pain. Wow, okay. Wow, that's deep spirit. Underneath we've got the fool. So I feel like this is a new journey for you regardless. But I feel like you're taking a leap of faith. Rather than taking this person back, giving this person a chance, trying a new job, trying a new career. I feel like your focus needs to stay on you on your needs, on your wants, on your expectations. One last card. The Two of Wands. Definitely. Look forward. Look forward to your reality. Stay focused. 
on your reality. <laughs> Move forward at a pace that's comfortable for you. One last card. Four cups. Don't get bored or overwhelmed in your situations. And I feel like this Four of Cups also represents this person feeling like you were a missed opportunity. You were an opportunity that they failed to capture. And I feel like if this is a person or if this is a career, one way or another, this situation is doubling back to try to recapture something that they felt they lost. It could be that this person feels like they lost an opportunity in a relationship with you. Or if this is a career situation, I feel like this is a career that failed to launch. One way or another, Aries, it's going to be a very vibrant month. But Spirit is letting you know to keep your focus on you and your needs. This is what I have for you. Many blessings. Love and light.